TCU. TCU is hiring Sonny Dykes. There is a press conference announced on Tuesday. There were some rumors, some notes here and there about the idea that Oklahoma might be interested in Sonny Dykes and that they might push this press conference back. I don't believe that that is happening because SMU has already hired their coach. So we'll we'll, <laughs> we'll talk about that in just a minute. That's how quick this is moving, that TCU hasn't exactly announced their head coaching hire, and the coach behind them, or the school that he's leaving, has already hired their next coach and, and announced it before TCU even could. So TCU hiring Sonny Dykes, I am not a big fan of this. I don't. I, I have not liked what Sonny Dykes was able to do. He's a great offensive mastermind. Fantastic. Daniel jumps in and says, who are the coordinators for the Huskies? Who knows? Who knows? Yes, you're going to need a defense coordinator, but the, the Kalen DeBoer stuff came out today. So it give him time to hire his staff. I don't think you got to worry about the offensive side of the ball. You are going to have to worry about defense, and we'll see. We'll see. I mean, if, if Texas ends up making staff changes, you bring back Pete, uh, we'll see what happens there. But it, I don't think you got to worry about that with Caitlin. TCU hiring Sonny Dykes here, uh, I don't like, I don't like at all Sonny Dykes as a hire. He just has not been successful to the level of expectations that you would have for him. They started out this season 7-0, and went 1-4 and down the stretch. Another 8-4 and season, hasn't won the AAC. It's not that you have to win a conference title. It's just give me something that shows a little bit of hope, right? I'm, I'm just not a fan of this. I don't. I think that Sonny Dykes is is different than what TCU is. However, TCU has gone with a defensive guy forever. I, I also don't like the idea of hiring somebody from a rival school. Now I know that TCU looks at themselves as uh, higher and better than SMU, and they probably are a better program than SMU. But why hire the the rival coach? Right? Auburn did this with Bill Oliver back however long ago, where they hired it, but they hired him in as a defensive coordinator. That's a little bit of a different deal. When you are bringing in somebody from across town from a rival school to be the head guy, that just feels really weird. Really, really weird. Uh, but TCU has not had to do this in, in over two decades. So why would I expect that they would know what they're really doing when it comes to this? And the same thing with Oklahoma. Like, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But TCU, not, not a big fan of the Sunny Dykes hire uh, we'll see what they do with coordinators, et cetera. There's already talk about them bringing in some guys that were involved in all the Baylor stuff. Not obviously a fan of that, or at least some of the guys that were. You guys know my feelings on our brows and all that good stuff, but it, just a strange situation. Strange situation there. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.